Be vegan. Make peace. Do good deeds. Heaven Godspeed. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com barre oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. Naše programy nabízejí více jazyků. Prosím, navštivte suprememastertv.com lomitko schedule. According to local folklore, the prophet Moses, vegetarian, or Musa in Arabic, passed through here and struck a rock with his staff to extract water for the Israelites. Petra, Jordan's historic city of rose-colored stone, part one of two. Continue watching to find out more. O oh, victorious ones, who have become masters of yourselves, what wonderful teaching you have given us. You have taught us how to nourish the body with only that food which issues straight from the benevolent earth, which is not tainted with the pain of bloodshed. You have taught us why we eat, to sustain the body in health, so as to use it to attain liberation and to serve our fellow beings. Jain Pratikraman Sutra, Sadhu Kriya. Greet your Assyrian friends with Shlam Alechon, or peace be upon you in the Assyrian dialect. Loving viewers, I am Jabara. The faithful Assyrian people are thrilled to have your company today and wish you an abundance of blessings from the Divine. Welcome to part one of a two-part series entitled Petra, Jordan's Historic City of Rose-Colored Stone. The unique historical city of Petra lies within desolate desert canyons, hidden behind the rugged mountains of Jordan, adjacent to the Jebel Al-Madbah mountain. The city is located in southwest Jordan, between the Red Sea and the Dead Sea. The city is famous for its rock-cut architecture and sophisticated water system. Petra is sometimes called the lost city because it was lost entirely to the western world after the 14th century until it was reintroduced by Swiss explorer Johann Lodewijk Burkhardt in 1812. Due to the color of the stone from which it is carved, Petra is also known as Rose City. The raw beauty of Petra draws in visitors making it one of the greatest tourist attractions in Jordan. The entire city is a work of art, with a natural stone backdrop that changes the hues every hour. Inhabited by ancient civilizations, Petra has been home to some of the oldest non-farming communities. A pre pottery Neolithic settlement lived in Baida, north of Petra, as early as 7000 BC. Between 1200 BC and 600 BC, written records from the Late Bronze Age and the Iron Age mention the ancient kingdom of Edom. The Edomites' ability to store water was made possible by the way the mountains in Petra were arranged. As a result, Petra became a resting point for merchants, making it a superb location for trading. Olive oil and wood were among the commodities that were exchanged here. Archaeological evidence of Nabatine presence dates to the 2nd century BC. According to the ancient Greek historian Theodorus of Sicily, the Nabatines were one of several nomadic Bedouin First Nations. They roamed the Arabian desert for grass and water and finally settled at Petra. Because the Nabatines were accustomed to living in desolate deserts, they used the rocky geography of the region to fend off invasions. As recorded in the inscriptions, his Majesty Arites was the first king of the Nabateans, friend of his people, and used Batra hidden in the Wadi Musa Valley to ensure the safety of its inhabitants. Since ancient times, minerals such as bitumen and copper from the region have been mined and marketed. In the 3rd century BC, the rich and powerful Nabatine Empire was formed. 
the Nabatean merchants made Petra, or Rakmo, as they called it the capital. The Nabateans were exceptionally proficient in developing effective ways to collect water in the arid deserts. They developed an elaborate system of cisterns, runnels, and catchments, as well as a graffiti-fed pipeline supply. Despite only receiving 6 inches or 15 centimeters of rain annually, the Nabateans were able to supply water for 30,000 people. Many of them were immigrants from other parts of the region, including Egyptians, Syrians, Judeans, Greeks, and Romans. Patras' secure water supply made it an ideal location for the growth of a thriving metropolis, once again serving as a stopover for the caravan trade. The Nabateans made a considerable profit from their transactions. They became wealthy by trading bitumen, metals, and dyes to Egypt for mummification. Gold, precious stones, wood, and spices such as frankincense and more were also exchanged. Meanwhile, in addition to carving structures into solid rocks, they developed farming techniques Petra flourished in the first century, filling the city with gorgeous houses and sculpted facades, with water running to every corner. Bab al sik is the gateway road towards the city center. Three massive square-shaped tombs carved out of solid stone can be seen along the way. These are known as jinn blocks, as they were believed to be dwellings of jinns or spirits. The obelisk tomb also sits along the road with four pyramids and four statues above it. For passionate hikers, Petra has eight official trails leading through the ancient city. The main trail, starting at the visitor's center, enters the Sikh. The Sikh is a naturally occurring geological fracture, the evidence of the movement of tectonic plates, then smoothed by water. It is a dramatic sight to behold, covered with sculptures and carvings of gods and animal people. Additionally, the entryway has the remains of a monumental arch, of which only the two apartments and a few of the arches hewn stones remain. Lithographs from 1839 give us a good idea of how the arch looked before it collapsed in 1896 as a result of an earthquake. The narrow twisting canyon is 1.2 kilometers long. The walls on both sides are 90 to 180 meters in height, and at the narrowest point, the walls are only 3 meters apart. In ancient times, the city could be blocked off with boulders to prevent unwelcome guests from entering. The sick was sacred to the Nabatean people. According to local folklore, the Prophet Moses vegetarian, or Musa in Arabic, passed through here and struck a rock with his staff to extract water for the Israelites. The locals say the sick was formed by the water Moses released. The town around Petra is named Wadi Musa, which means the Valley of Moses in Arabic. Vegan, let's show that we love our neighbors. While the sick gets shorter and darker in the last few meters, a magnificent rock-cut temple at the end of the passage suddenly springs to life, lit up by the sunlight. Al-Kazna, which in Arabic means the treasury, was so named by the local Bedouins in the early 19th century. Al-Kazna is a shortened form of Kazna al pharaoh or treasury of the pharaoh, derived from the local legend of the Egyptian pharaoh who was chasing the Prophet Moses, vegetarian. Together with some of his army, he went to cross the Red Sea before it closed up. They used magic to create al Kazna as a safe haven for their treasure and then continued their pursuit. Standing in front of the al Kazna's awe-inspiring facade are elaborate sandstone pillars. Historians believe the magnificent rock-cut structure 
which is 25 meters wide and 39 meters high, was probably built as the tomb of Nabatean king His Majesty Arites IV. When the renowned Al Kazna was constructed, the population reportedly peaked at about 20,000 people. Currently, many of Al Kazna's architectural details have been lost to erosion. Its statues are believed to represent numerous mythological characters related to the afterlife. For example, the top has four eagle people who would carry away souls. Flanking the entrance are statues of Castor and Pollux, twin gods from Greek and Roman mythology. Al Kazna's interior consists of a central chamber with three interior portals connecting to three antechambers. The interior measures approximately 2,000 cubic meters. While admiring the exquisite features and natural beauty of the sandstone, visitors marvel and wonder how the people of the first century achieved such glorious structures. In 2003, archaeologists excavated an underground burial crypt beneath Al Kazna, where 11 people's remains were discovered in four burial chambers. It may have been a place of worship because archaeologists also discovered bowls containing offerings to the gods and incense. Stairs led to Alkazna's underground crypt. The original streets paving stones can still be seen at the base of the three tombs. Only 15% of the site of Patra has been excavated so far, leaving the rest buried underground. Archaeologists are finding that Patra was an extensive city of lush gardens, enormous temples and luxurious Roman-style villas. In our next episode, we will continue to discover more about this charming historical city. To close today's program, let's enjoy a poem entitled Patra written by English Biblical scholar John William Borgon in 1845. It seems no work of man's creative hand, by labor wrought as wavering fancy planned, but from the rock as if by magic grown, eternal, silent, beautiful, alone. Not virgin white like that old Doric shrine, Where erst Athena held her rites divine, Not saintly grey like many a minister fain, That crowns the hill and consecrates the plain, But rose red as if the blush of dawn, That first beheld them were not yet withdrawn, The hues of youth upon a brow of woe, Which man deemed old two thousand years ago. Match me such marvel, save in eastern clime, a rose-red city half as old as time. For more information on Batra, please visit visitpatra.jo. Vegan. Die smiling. Reminiscent viewers, thank you for your devoted company today. Join us again on Friday, December 2nd, for part 2 of Patra, Jordan's historic city of rose-colored stone. Coming up next is the shy and gentle Indian bear people, right after noteworthy news, here on Supreme Master Television. May divine blessings guide you toward golden days and God's protection. Be vegan, make peace. Do good deeds, hell not reach. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash WAU.